Hey there, Greeny here. This video is supposed to be a quick start guide for my custom tray light package. If you're looking for a more in-depth documentation, check out the full PDF documentation that comes with the download. Download to the custom tray light package is found in the video description down below. I have set up a very simple coaster. It's just going from the left to the right of the screen. And we now want to add a light strip to this track that will be triggered by the train rolling over it. And to do that, all we need to do is we go to the scenery tab, we click on choose, we go to the custom tray light package, we select a light strip that fits our needs. In this case, let's go with the 50 strip, place it at the beginning where we want the light strip to start, then double click the object, go down to coaster, select the coaster you want this light to hook on. In this case, this is demo track number one, click close. Now we can fine tune the positioning because the position of this cube on the track will be the starting point of the first light. So we go into the simulation mode and see how this thing looks. Train is coming up and... And this is all it takes to add the custom tray light package to a coaster in a very basic configuration. And if you're going back to the object, we see that we can tweak a lot of settings. More infos about those settings, as said, is in the full documentation that comes with the download. In this video, I only want to point out two settings. This is the base light color and the effect light color. What this is, the base light is the color the lights naturally light up on the track. In this case, it is set to black. Black equals off, but we can change this and say we want to have the lights on green by default. And when a train runs over it, we want to set it to red. And if we save this and go back into the simulation, we will see that there is a green light and when the train runs over it, it changes into red. The custom tray light package is a relatively powerful package that has plugin support to a certain extent. In order to open up our light strip that we just placed to other plugins, we need to assign it to a light group and light chain. And in order to do this, we are using the group plugin. All we need to do to add this object to a group is we go to scenery, to our custom tray light package, we go to plugins. In here, we select tray light group setup and we place this object around the light object that we want to add to a light group or light chain. Once we did that, we can open up the group setup properties. In here, we have three settings, a light group color. This is just for you to keep track of your groups and separate them by color. So you can easily see them in your editor. And we have the light group ID and we have the light chain ID. Zero equals deactivated. In this case, we're going to assign this light to light group ID one and to light chain ID one. If you want to learn more about what exactly a light group or a light chain is, I really recommend you check out the PDF documentation that comes with the download. All right, we have now assigned this light strip in the middle to light group number one on light chain number one. The hue loop effect light plugin allows you to set your effect lights to a simple hue loop. In order to use the effect light color hue loop plugin, we again go into the plugins folder, select the effect light hue color loop setup and replace it somewhere in our park. Once placed in the park, we can open up the properties and in the properties, we again find a group ID as well as chain ID. And now we can assign our effect plugin to a light group and light chain. So we are now going to assign this plugin to group number one on light chain number one. And when we jump back into the simulation, we will see that as soon as our train activates the lights, they are now in a hue loop effect configuration. The per train effect light color change plugin allows you to change the effect lights per train. In order to use this plugin, place it as many times in your park as you have trains on your coaster. In my case, I have three trains on this track, so I placed three plugins. Let's start setting up this plugin. Again, we need to assign the light group as well as we need to assign the light chain. Next, we can assign the plugin to a coaster. In this case, this is demo track one. And then we can say what train number will trigger this effect. This train number here corresponds to the train number inside the coaster properties. So let's set up the first train and set the first train to the color red. Lastly, we need to select a track trigger, which is triggering the light change. So in order to do that, we need to add a track trigger to the track. So we go and unfreeze our coaster. We select a track trigger and we place it on the layout where we want the change to be triggered. So let's place it here, go back to our settings set the track trigger to our first track trigger and we're good to go. And if we jump back into the sim, we now see that every train is triggering a different colored effect light. 
The Chasing Light Bolts plugin allows you to set up light bolts that run along your layout. To set up the Chasing Light Bolts plugin, we simply go to its properties, we assign it to a light group and to a light chain. In this case, we're going for this group over here, which is group number one of chain number three. And when we jump into the sim, we see that the light bolts are already racing along this light group. We can also set up this plugin to run through an entire light chain, which means that the light bolt will run through both of those groups, even though they are on two different roller coasters. To check this, we go back into the sim, and we now see that the light bolt is running through the entire chain across two coasters. The Trail Lights Blackout plugin allows you to turn off the lights on a roller coaster when triggered by a track trigger. In order to use it, we again set up the object with the light group and the light chain. We also select a track trigger when this blackout is being triggered. If we jump back into our sim, we see that our lights are being turned off as soon as a train hits the track trigger. And this is a very basic setup of the custom trail light package. If you want to learn more about how to use the package and what capabilities it has, I recommend again checking out the full PDF documentation which comes within the downloads. I am Greeny, this is Coaster Talk, and I would love to see what you guys are building with this custom trail light package. So if you have a coaster build using this custom trail light package, feel free to tag me on Twitter. You will find my socials in the video description down below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this custom trail light package just as much as I enjoyed creating it. And I really, really, really am looking forward to seeing what you guys are coming up with for this package. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.